Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you a cool trick where you can use the layout tab names to quickly and automatically populate your drawing number or drawing title fields in all of your sheets. This can also work to populate both and I'm going to show you a bit of custom code at the end to achieve that easily and quickly. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so first up, if you haven't already learned about fields in AutoCAD, I highly recommend watching my fields video. I'll put a link down below, but we're gonna to touch on that quickly to get started here. So fields in AutoCAD allow you to populate text objects using a variety of different properties within AutoCAD to bring those in and fill out your text. Now, one that is lesser known is a property called C tab, and that is going to pull in the layout name and place that into a field. So we're going to run through how to insert a field. So you can either highlight a piece of text or just delete the text that you want uh, to replace here and right click and choose insert field. Now this is going to insert a field that then pulls from some area of your drawing file, whether it's the document, you can pull in a file size, file name, you can pull in things like objects, you can grab stuff like a count of a block, an area, you can use custom code including Lisp and Diesel expressions, which we're gonna touch on at the end of today's video. So stick around and I'm gonna show you a cool trick to pull different pieces of your layout name and split it out into different fields. Now, another thing you can do is pull from sheet sets, which will automatically populate everything in your drawing, including drawing names, titles, project names, uh, descriptions, sheet numbers, uh, initials, dates, all of that can be populated for every drawing file in a project. And these can be in separate .dwg files. So sheet sets are a huge time saver in AutoCAD. And if you don't know and about or have not learned about sheet sets or you'd like a refresher, be sure to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course and get the sheet set add-on that's available on the sidebar when you're picking up the course. It's a cheap add-on that gives you a mini course that I created teaching the basics of sheet sets to get you started. You can get that up at the link above or down below in the description. Now, moving on, we're going to be getting something from the other uh, field category here, and that is a system variable. And the one I mentioned is C tab. So if you type in C and then T, it's going to go to your C tab field. And you can see it's already telling me what this layouts C tab value is and it's D100. You can see over here that my layout is called D100. Now if we look down at our title, we're going to insert this. You can also choose if you want to automatically format it each time it pulls this field value. By choosing uppercase, you're always going to get an uppercase letter and or number when it brings it into the field, which is typically what you're gonna want from a drawing number or a drawing name. Now hitting OK is going to put that field into the text object we've got here. And now you can see it is up to date. This gray is not going to plot. It's simply a shaded or highlighted uh, piece of text to let you know that this is being populated from a field and that you can't edit it. So if you go to click on it, it's just gonna select the whole thing. If you double click on it, you can change the field, but it can't be edited from this place. You need to go to the source of the property, whether that's drawing properties like a previous video I've done or sheet sets, or in this case, the actual layout tab, C tab value. Now, if we change this to D101 and hit enter, you'll see that it doesn't automatically update, but if you type in regen and hit enter, that will update it, as well as saving a drawing will update all of the fields within it. So that's a quick rundown on how to insert a field into a text block. Now comes the fun part, where we can take a layout like this one here and pull just the number and place it in our drawing number and pull the label, like details, and place it in our drawing title area. Now this requires a small diesel script or Lisp kind of formula. Uh, these are pretty easy to pick up and for the most part, if you just need them occasionally, 
Googling what you're looking for and then Lisp or Diesel script in the AutoCAD forums will find you the answer or teach you enough to get by. I don't have a course or teach uh, full scripting because it doesn't come up a lot in day to day. But if you have an interest, I am happy to share some cool ones that I've picked up along the way or teach some basics as well. Now, to add a diesel script to a field, you can simply double click and then select the field by double clicking. Or say we delete this, you can simply insert a field and go to other on the category and then diesel expression. And this is where you're going to need to paste or write your uh, Lisp or Diesel code. Uh, Lisp would be down here and Diesel up here. So I'm going to paste in the code here and I'm just gonna give this to you guys. I'll put it down in the details uh, and description of the video as well. But basically we're going to be pulling a string uh, and we're getting these variables. So it's gonna pull the variable C tab, which is this field here. And we're going to pull a specific few string characters so that means we're going to pull the characters or letters and these numbers at the end are telling you which character to start with and which character to end with you can leave the second one blank if you just want to pull the entire string but in our case we only want to pull the first four characters now if we use one as the first one i find typically that's going to give you a space i'm not sure why that does that in autocad i haven't looked too much into it but i don't use these expressions very often so starting with two is going to get the first one here that we want that would be character two and all the way up to character five and you can see down here if we have a letter and three numbers that means we need four characters so if we count character two three four and five that gives us four characters you can adjust these as needed so if you are only using three digit numbers for your uh, sheet numbers you only need to go to character number four so you would just switch this one here out to four and the same goes if you had a longer uh, drawing number you simply add more if you have a five character drawing number you would add a, this to number six and then in the second portion i'll show you you'll just adjust the second number where we're starting so once I've pasted this code in here, you can hit OK, and you can see it grabs the D100. Now, this isn't any different from C tab, but if this layout name was longer, you'll notice that it's not going to add this site plan text. Even when I type in regen here, it doesn't do anything. So we're going to use a second code or script here to change and add an inserted field using diesel into our drawing title and we want our drawing title to be the last section of the characters here and we know that we went to number character five to be this last one so we don't want character six which is a space so we want to start with character seven and i'm going to grab the code here for that one and again i'll put these in the description or you can just simply write them down or type them in as i've got them written here again this is going to pull the string numbers uh, character number seven so that starts with the s down here and we're going to put a limit to character 40. that's going to keep the drawing title from getting too large for the space i've got but you're going to want to play with that you could just simply limit it to say character 25 or character 30 just to make sure that it doesn't overflow your drawing title and it's also going to make sure you don't have huge titles down here as your layout names and again this is pulling the c tab field which is the tab or layout uh, text. You're grabbing variables from it, and then you're going to pull the specific string numbers and character numbers. So you're gonna pull number seven to 40, and we're just gonna hit okay. So you can see it's automatically pulled the site plan from this one, and it hasn't pulled the D100. So there you have it. That's a really easy, quick code that you can grab and copy this to every layout in your drawing. So I'm just gonna copy those two pieces of text. I'm gonna to go to my other sheet. I'm gonna delete these. So to copy, I selected both. I held Control, Shift, and C to copy with a base point, and I chose this corner right here as my base point. Now I can hit Control and V to paste them, and I'm gonna choose that same corner. You can see they automatically updated when they loaded into this layout, and now I've got a 
dynamic automatically updating layout name and number that populate my drawing title and drawing number fields on every single sheet. Now this also, once you've set it up once or twice, you can simply right click on a tab, choose move or copy, create a copy and move it to the end and you're going to get the next one. And you can see it just automatically updates every time. So if I wanna call this one D300 and call it notes, now when I go into my drawing here and type in regen, it automatically updates. So there you have it. This is a super easy and great way to automatically populate your drawing title and drawing number just from your layout tabs. Now, again, if you want to advance this even more, I highly recommended checking out my sheet sets add-on on my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, which is also packed with a ton of helpful tips like this, workflows, fundamentals, and secrets that I've learned on over 15 years of daily AutoCAD and Civil 3D use. Again, the link for that is discounted and it's up above and down below for viewers such as yourself. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you'd like to see in the next one in the comments down below. Cheers.